What's going on guys? Gums here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Now if you guys aren't aware, if you have not been doing your super sleuthing in the spot where he opened up the game we we have the big and we have the big boy collection that is coming uh not this next week but the following tuesday on the 28th of july the chase for ellipses prepare your arson prepare your collections this is about to be a gargantuan one today we're going to talk about everything we really know and what we can really expect about this collection also going to go over some predictions on, on who i think that uh big bad 99 over all diamond is going to be but as always before we hop into this one uh make sure leave a like down below on this video definitely helps me out a ton subscribe if you guys are new still on the road to 50,000. gonna have a little paxton gameplay later gonna try real hard to stream tonight uh we'll see so we might as well start it off well in the birthplace of it mlb the show 19. what is this honus wagner type collection that, that you see right here. So we're going to go all over this one. Uh, now, of course, Honus Wagner is not confirmed uh, by any means to be the collection reward. Uh, that's just the best way to explain it to people who have played MLB The Show 19. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff. If you guys did not play last year or if you did, uh, there's a lot of insight really to go after here. So uh, the big thing with Honus Wagner, of course, was collecting uh, pretty much, you know, just gathering a bunch of every card series in the game more or less you needed all of the base series being uh the breakout the all-star veteran hardware rookie and postseason those i consider the base because that's uh if you get a flashback it's just one of those we're not talking about signature or prime or something of that standard uh but what made this collection really hard to get is uh the fact that a lot of these cards came out earlier in the year some of them may have been event cards some of them may have been those world series cards and they shot up in price as soon as we saw this however now that we know it's coming they they just dropped it out of nowhere like chris hansen they just dropped a bomb on us like what are you doing here sir going after this uh 99 overall card now that we know it's coming we can prepare a little bit better uh but yeah that's pretty much the base of it is those cards that you're going to need and uh signature series really made things a lot more difficult now this was released pretty much the same time that it was last year i think it came out july 25th in 2019 it's gonna come out the 28th this year and uh obviously there was plenty of more content after that date so uh eventually more cards came out and i think that's the best thing to realize is it's gonna be hard as fuck to get this card especially uh right out the get-go but eventually it is gonna be uh just moderately difficult i was able to do it relatively easily and uh signature series was basically the only specialty card that we had in the game last year so what i think is going to happen and what i think you guys should do is first of all absolutely start getting some of these uh rookie cards start getting some of the breakout cards obviously i'm referring to mlb the show 20 uh it's just easier to show it right here start collecting these cards because they're only going to go up after the collection actually does come out despite it being front and center on the schedule a lot of people don't look at that shit we are going to be the exception so that's going to be something really important to do and i think what you can almost entirely bank on you are going to need signature series cards obviously but now that they really made things a hell of a lot more diverse as far as card series go i would say the other ones that you can pretty much bank on that you are going to need is awards prime i think you're going to need future stars face of the franchise those are the ones i think for sure i think all of the base ones veteran all-star breakout rookie postseason as well and then prime signature awards Face of the franchise and future stars, maybe they add something like the Players League, like Prospects, like Home Run Derby. It's possible, but I would say if you guys uh, don't have 5 million stubs, if you guys uh, 
if you don't have stubs burning a hole in your pocket these are the best ones to look after first of all uh, because I think those are the safest bets as far as what is going to be required how many is really a tough question to ask these collections hold no bars because they extended those afterwards to get the voucher they add just another tier on how many you need to collect so it's gonna be a lot that you are going to uh, have to collect in order to meet the requirements uh, uh, but I think that's really the most important thing to do right now. A perfect card, for example, is like this Pujols. I've been talking about this for quite a while now, at least the last two ranked seasons. Start picking up these cards that were past World Series rewards, because I knew there was going to be a collection like this. And this card went from, I mean, we can just check the marketplace trends. Business is booming for these cards. Finally, cards that would usually just collect pixelated dust, uh are still going to collect virtual dust until that collection actually comes out. So uh, it will be worth it in the long run. If you guys are interested in getting whichever card that it is, uh, we will talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really lump sum of a bunch of different cards, being that they have so many different series. And yes, they did have, uh, for example, uh, Future Stars last year. They did have those into effect, but they didn't really utilize the Future Stars. I think there was... Wasn't there like less than 10 Future Star cards that got released the entirety of MLB The Show 19? It was basically Signature Series or Bust. I think, I, I think Comcast may, maybe, uh, maybe just bust. They just bust a load on my router because this shit isn't loading. So yeah, I don't know if I really plan on doing more in-depth video on how to prepare, uh, but that's really what we know. That's what we can expect as far as what we are going to see. Uh, it should be just simply collecting players. That's all you're going to need. And uh, you're going to have to have a lot of stubs. It's going to be big. Last year, I think it was like 2 million or something. I don't remember the exact price. I just remember uh, like Gunsky, Shelfie, Coogs. I think a lot of guys did spending sprees. They have to spend a shit ton of stubs in order to get this card uh, right when it came out. Um, let's start talking about who really it could be because I think that's a bit of a more fun discussion. So last year, of course, it was Honus Wagner, a brand new legend we've never seen uh, in MLB The Show before. Now, this is what I want to tell you. So if you guys didn't know, there's actually a pretty easy way to see if we're going to have more legends coming. You just look right here, and if there's blank spots within these, uh, you know, fictional legend teams, uh, which there were for quite some time, and after we got Tomei, uh, the other two, they, they weren't nearly as ex Hanky and Salmon, uh, the old, the old fishy boy. Uh, after we got those, all these spots filled up. Now, maybe they could extend it. I don't remember if this was the case uh, with Honus. I don't know if these were all filled up at this point. I just know there's a good chance we might not see another new legend this year, which would kind of suck. I definitely think it'd be cool to see, I don't know, maybe a Jeter here, you know, maybe an A-Rod, some guys that a lot of people really, really love, want to see as a new legend. Uh, but I do not think it is going to be that. I think it's going to be somebody pre-existing. And obviously, it, it's going to be somebody big. Uh, I didn't really have to tell you that. It's going to be a 99. It's going to be one of the best, if not the best card in the game. Honus Wagner last year, as you can see his stats, uh, he was amazing. You know, he could play pretty much everywhere on the diamond. He had maxed out speed, damn near. He had fantastic fielding, near maxed out contact, and like 90 power. For a shortstop, that's really all you ask for, plus the versatility. The guys I think are actually possible this year, I would say, are Honus Wagner. Again, I would not put it past them to redo that. It would make sense. It's supposed to... The whole reason why they have Honus there is because, you know, it is the rarest baseball card of all time. The one that has the card art from last year. Uh, that makes sense. They, you know, collecting cards, another baseball card. It, it makes sense. Some guys I think it could be Willie Mays, Babe Ruth, and Ted Williams, and Honus Wagner. I think those are really the four horsemen of the possibilities. I really don't see many other options. I think it's going to be an old-time player. Uh, for example, Griffey, I just don't think that's going to be the case for one. He's already gotten 95 and a 98, uh, which was World Series, and this really expensive home run derby collection. I don't think they would put yet another Griffey behind a really 
excessive uh, grind slash paywall. I don't think they're going to do that if they even do release a 99, which I think is probably possible. Uh, but Willie Mays, Babe Ruth, Honus Wagner, and Ted Williams have not gotten good cards yet. Now, there is the case, I would say, for Honus Wagner. Again, reciprocity. It makes sense. Rarest baseball card was in there last year. And he already did get a card right here. Uh, right here which kind of makes me think because last year they only had the 99 Wagner maybe some people they don't want them to feel left out and they might drop the 99 Honus again I really hope that's not the case I want to see somebody brand new Willie Mays I think uh, is pretty possible uh, of course he was the live series collection last year so it would kind of suck to see him again uh, be even a harder collection to complete than it was last year uh, but almost what I would say is my favorite and I think this could be an extremely cool concept I don't know what you guys think is it could be Babe Ruth maybe he's just a regular player maybe he is a two-way I think that would be a really interesting combo. Of course, he was, he's not, I don't know. It's tough to say though, because Babe Ruth was never a 99 overall worthy pitcher. Uh, they could just make it fake. Uh, I don't know. How, well, how would you guys feel about that? Obviously, uh, he would, you know, he would come in hot with, you know, his regular attributes hitting wise, but it would add a different dimension to him. The only issue I see is, Two-way players like Otani, like McKay, you can't use them uh, in the field like you regularly could at Diamond Dynasty, and it kind of sucks. If you could, if they found a way to integrate uh, outfielder Babe Ruth, but you could also have him pitch, I think that would be fantastic, and that would be extremely worthy of however many stubs that you have to pay for him. So that's just an idea that's kind of been running around my head. And uh, he does have one of the rarest baseball cards of all time. I think it's in the top five most expensive cards that I've ever sold, and that was a pitcher card that he has had. And then my other option is Reginald Stocker. Uh, I think this card is a legit possibility. I know I talk about this card so much. But I really wouldn't put it past them. They know. They, they got to come in with a fan favorite. Somebody that people are really going to want. Because this is almost an investment for them. They know they're going to be making buku bucks like Prime Heisenberg in this bitch. They know people are spending their mommy's credit card out the ass to get whatever card is the Grand Master reward. If you come out with a Reggie Stalker, Barry Bonds, uh, if you are not informed... This would th this would really break the game. People would be ecstatic. I think any of these uh, options would be really, really cool to see. And uh, again, this is just my opinion. I'd rather not see Honus Wagner come back this year. Uh, and it also kind of makes sense. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd want to say it makes sense for Stalker, but 16 is coming off the air really really soon it's still able to be played online right now obviously it just got that screenshot but maybe there's some correlation there i think it's right around the same time this is coming off servers so you can't go online anymore and also this grand master collection that's just something i've been thinking about uh really galaxy brain thoughts you know shower thoughts for me but uh that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video like i said uh talked about a lot of stuff who i think is gonna be the card uh what we know about it and also how to prepare for it let me know in the comment section who do you guys want to see baby old reginald uh that's really cringe so i'm just gonna end this video thank you all for watching leave a like down below hope you guys have a great day